Hello everyone. This is Meherin Sharif from Suyati Technologies. We contribute in our clients' business success by offering them customized digital transformation solutions. Here is a small video explaining business rules, which is a new feature from Microsoft Dynamics ERM 2013. Business rules gives us a lot of conditional functionalities that we can attach to fields on a form without using codes. Here I am going to show you a small example of hiding a field let's say spouse or partner name based on marital status field in the contact entity using business rule. Let's begin. Click on sales. Click on contacts. Click on the new option. Click on form. Click on business rules option here. If you have created any business rule previously, you can view it on the right side. If you want to create any new business rule, click on the new business rule option here. Now you can enter the business rule name. Let's say our business rule name is marital status rule. Here you can add any description related to your business rule if necessary. Now you can add your condition in add condition. Click on add condition. So your condition will be if your field name which is marital status equals which is the operator. Now your type will be value either married or widowed. So this is your condition. Once you had filled the fields for the condition, click on the tick option here for locking your condition. So your condition has been locked which is if marital status equals married or widowed. Now you can specify the action in add action option here. Click on add action. Click on set visibility for setting the visibility for a field. Now choose the field which is spouse or partner. Now set the status. You can either hide it or show the field. So we are showing it. Now click on the tick option for locking your action. So basically if the condition is marital status equals married or widowed your action will be show field spouse partner name. Now you can add an else condition which will be Click on add condition, choose the field which is marital status equals value or the other values which is single or diverse. Click on tick option for locking your condition. Now click on add action, set visibility, choose the field which is spouse or partner name. Now set the status as hide field. So if the marital status equals single or diverse, we are setting the action as spouse or partner name will be hidden. Click on the tick option for locking your action. Once you had specified your condition, click on the save option here. Click on activate. Now your business rule has been activated. Go back to your form and choose the field for which you want to set the business rule. So our field will be marital status. Click on marital status. Click on business rules. Now choose the business rule which is marital status rule. Click on it. Press the OK button. Now your business rule will be applied to this field which is marital status. Now save the form. Once you have saved it, click on publish. Don't forget to publish your customization once you have saved the form. 
Now let's go back to the contact entity to view our business rule customizations. For that, click on the sales option, click on contacts, click on the new field option for creating a new contact. Here you can see the marital status field. When I choose the marital status field as single or divorced, the spouse or partnering field has been hidden. And when I choose the marital status field as married or widowed, it has been made visible. So this is all about creating a simple business rule in Microsoft Dynamics CRM. To know more about us, do visit our website www.crt.com.